Hildich who gets ahead. Hildich high slot will dump the puck into the corner. And Landon Hildich, uh, three points, uh, goal, or points in three consecutive games. And in that span, has six assists in his last three games. The Warriors get the puck and turn it back the other way. Duclair, left circle, delaying, backdoor pass, scores! Nice back checking there, Trevor, on that because uh, Marin had the, the puck coming down the ice in, this, in the neutral zone and bang, it goes right back. That was a nice back check, nice goal. It's Chris Duclair who gets the marker. Duclair's got goals in three straight games. His centering pass for Brendan Nelson went off a Merritt defenseman and passed Nathan Preston and in. Leading in shots 12 to nothing. Got to give credit to Nathan Preston and the Merritt Net making his BCHL debut today. And he's made 11 saves on 12 shots in the early going. Carried ahead by, Con by Connor Farron as he tried to get in between the Warriors' defense. Noah Lafrabois took it away and then he gave the puck up and the slot scores! First shot of the game for the Centennials from Jackson Murray, and it beats Caden Hamming on the blocker side, and the Centennials tie the game with 9.03 to go in the first. It's 1-1. You know, they're probably a little bit weary, uh, heavy-legged. Yeah, we'll see how this game goes along from an energy level here for the Centennials with their third game in three nights in three different locations. Here's Devlin down the right wing side, cuts to the net, stopped by Preston, bouncing puck to the net, scores! That's the, that's the power of, a, of a, a fella like Devlin because he just powers to the net and the goal doesn't have to be pretty, but that's exactly the kind of thing that you need, especially in playoff hockey. Just go to the net with the puck. Devlin powered to the goal and it's Nick Porchetta that puts it into the back of the net. Porchetta gets the goal, his 10th of the season. Brought ahead by Nelson, dropped it off. Here's Sharoon, tried to lay it back down low. Put to the blue line, power play has come to an end. We're back to five on five. Salandra tried to dice his way through to the fence. Now Reeves left side. Here's Duclair back for Sharoon in front scores. A quick passing play and it's Sharoon from the right side to put it back to the front of the net and Brennan Nelson puts it in. And Nelson's got his 10th of the season. That gives the Warriors a 3-1 lead. Uh, credit to Merritt and credit to the Centennials for keeping this game as tight as it's been. Pushed down below the goal line now. Bobby May up the left wing side. Here's Moriello. Sends it along the wall. Now Ben McDonald with speed. Cuts to the net. He scores! Oh, an absolute beauty from Ben McDonald. Down the left wing side with speed. Flipped it up and over the blocker side of Nathan Preston. And the goal for McDonald. Picks up his 19th of the year. A gorgeous goal to make it 4-1. to one. That really was. There was no room down below. Just pop it right up. And again, that's a shooter's goal. That's a goal scorer's goal. At, uh, yeah, and that was a heck of a goal for McDonald. You could tell with that burst of speed that he had to get inside of the offensive end that that was going to be a really good opportunity. McDonald gets the goal. Moriello and Bobby May will draw the assists on the marker. And it's uh, points in back-to-back -back games for Bobby May, who picked up an assist on Friday night, and he's got one here, and the Warriors lead it 4-1, to one, and Michael Salandra scores! And the goal's coming in bunches for the Warriors now, late in the second period, as Salandra steps into the right circle and beats Preston 5-1 West Kelowna. And it will be taken along by Moriello. Moriello right wing corner, to the half board now for McDonald. McDonald lays, lays his way up top, now on the right side. Here's Lusiak dragging, shooting, and scores. What a shot by Riley Lusiak. Similar to what we saw Friday night to tie the game late. Lusiak, the power play goal from the right circle, and the Warriors lead 6-1. to one. Nice shot. 39th shot of the game, and... Uh... Brought back in and sent in deep here by the Warriors as they lead 6-1. to one. Down below the goal line now, Brennan Nelson centered a pass in front looking for Chris Duclair that was knocked away. Played back out at center now and Nelson will track it down, carrying back inside of the offensive zone. Here's Duclair, high slot, scores! Chris Duclair's second goal of the afternoon with 8-19 to go in the third and the Warriors lead 7-1. to one. Chris Duclair had come back from, uh, he kind of smacked his face on the boards and behind the warrior net. He came back, I was watching him. He was, 
10 seconds to go here in the third. Maddox McGarity got it ahead through the middle, knocked down by Landon Hilditch. Three seconds to go, side of the net. Green tried to slide it on. That will sound the buzzer, and this one comes to a conclusion. Some pushing and shoving behind the Merritt bench after this one's over, but it's the Warriors that win. Seven to one, the final score. The Warriors knock off the Merritt Centennials, and West Kelowna, their 26th win of the year, eight in a row on home ice for the Warriors.